So, we all know KFC, but how good are their competitors? Well today, I'm going to find out because I'm going to be trying out Slim Chickens and Jollibee to see how they compare. So let's start off first with Slim Chickens. So Slim Chickens is a nationwide fried chicken chain, just like KFC, but on a smaller scale. And I hadn't actually heard of them until recently, when they opened up a brand new store in the centre of Leeds. This one is located in the Trinity Shopping Centre and is only a couple of months old. So what better time to come and try out the chicken and see what it's like. Let's head in. The inside is really large with loads of seating available which extends to the outside. The decor I would describe as modern, rustic American diner. It feels bright and open with the massive windows down one side of the store and huge lamps. It's a nice place to be. I ordered quite a few different items, one of which was a meal that came with a bottomless drink, which you can have as many as you want. I went for a bit of ice and a Coke Zero. And it was great. So here is the food I ordered. There's quite a lot of items here and I cannot wait to try them all as they look really appetizing. Let's dig in. I'm going to start off with a chip. They're a decent size and I would say similar to a KFC chip but only crispier as it holds its shape pretty well. Let's go in for a taste and see what it's like. Pretty nice. The outside is crisp when you bite into it, they have the skin on, they're also already pre-seasoned as well. The inside is nice and soft with a good potato flavour, it's a good chip. But I think what we need to do is dip it in the sauce that comes with the meal. Now you do get to choose your sauce and there's a big selection, but I just went for the original Slim's sauce. Let's see how it tastes. That is really nice. The sauce is great. It's sweet, creamy, tangy and a little bit smoky. There's a lot of flavour in this little pot of sauce. It's on the slightly thinner side but I don't think it really matters because the taste is there. Let's move on to the chicken tenders which are part of the meal I got. The chicken tender meal. It includes the drink and everything you see in the basket. I think these tenders are the equivalent to a KFC mini fillet. Let's give them a try. Delicious! These are fantastic. The coating on the outside is a thin one with that classic southern fried chicken taste. The inside, now that is really soft and succulent. The chicken is juicy and full of flavour and it almost melts away in your mouth as you chew. These I think are a must get item. Let's dip it in the sauce. This might be the ultimate bite and we've only just started the meal. Let's try it out. Amazing. You do also get a slice of Texas toast with this meal which is an interesting item to have. Can't say I've ever had a slice of toast with a fried chicken meal before, but let's try it out and see what it's like. Pretty good. So this is a garlic bread, but in toast form. It's got the exact same taste as garlic bread, but it's on a slice of toast. Let's dip it in the sauce. Really good. Let's move on to the chicken wings. So with these you can choose the glaze that you want and the sauce on the side. There's so many options available for this. I went with a honey barbecue glaze and a buffalo sauce. Let's try it out. Nice wings. You get a sweet and smoky flavour from the glaze. It's a pretty sticky one too. The chicken on the inside is soft and succulent. It's a good wing. Let's try it out with the buffalo sauce. It does look pretty runny, 
let's open it up and see what it's like. It's pretty thin, but it's a nice ready orange colour. Let's dip the wing into it and try this out. It's okay. I don't think this buffalo sauce is one of my favourites. I think I might get another one next time. It is pretty messy though and my fingers were covered in the glaze. But luckily they provide a kitchen paper on every table as I think they know how messy it can get. So you can clean your fingers and face up before you move on to your next bite. Which is a classic chicken sandwich. And this is also one of the extra items I added on. It's a decent size and comparable with the ones that you would get at other places. It looks to have a big piece of chicken on the inside. Let's try it out. Really nice. You get the sweet brioche bun as you bite into it. The chicken which is soft and succulent, similar to the chicken tenders. The lettuce in there adds a freshness. The pickle adds a sour crunch and the mayo adds a creaminess that brings it all together. It's a good chicken sandwich. But I think we need to combo this up and add a few things into it to try and improve it. Let's put in some of the chips and that great Slim's original sauce. This I think is going to be a great bite of food. Let's go for it. Amazing! The sauce really makes the difference. I think you need to add a bit of the sauce on everything that you eat here. It just adds a sweet, sour and smoky tang that improves the flavours of everything. And why not try it out with the buffalo sauce? It's a bit too thin to pour, so I think dipping it in is the way to go. I've got a good bit of it on the burger, let's try it out. Not bad. Now I think you may have noticed something. Where are the pieces of fried chicken? Well, this fried chicken shop doesn't do fried pieces of chicken. Which is a little strange. I couldn't find them on the menu anywhere. I'm not sure if it's just this store or if they're all like that. But you would have thought a fried chicken shop, it must do fried pieces of chicken. But they don't do that here. What a great meal that was. The chicken tenders were delicious. So the total cost of that meal was £19.85. Let's move on next to Jollibee. So Jollibee is another fried chicken chain that's pretty new to the UK. There's not many stores around, but I think they have them in most of the major cities. The difference with Jollibee though is that they do a wide variety of foods including spaghetti and seems to be an amalgamation of KFC and McDonald's in terms of the food they serve. So you can get burgers and fried chicken too. Let's head in and check it out. The inside is pretty large with the main counter at the back and plenty of seating available on this floor and the floor above. The decor is modern chic I would say with the colour scheme and the wood laced throughout. I ordered quite a bit of food here and it all looks delicious. I cannot wait to dig in and try it out, but let's have a closer look at what you get. I went for the best seller solo meal deal, which includes a chicken sandwich, a piece of fried chicken, a portion of chips, a pot of gravy, a peach and mango pie, and a drink. I also added on three chicken tenders with a sauce, which was sriracha mayonnaise. This is one great looking meal. Let's dig in. I'm going to start off first with a chip. So these are the thinner kind, similar to the ones you would get at McDonald's, but they feel crispier. Let's try it out. Really nice. There's a good crunch to the outside as you bite into it and a nice fried flavour. The inside is soft, the potato texture is floury and the taste is good. But I think we really need to dip it in the gravy to really enjoy it. The gravy as I mentioned is included in the meal and is a great sauce to have. Now let's try it out. 
really tasty. So it's a thinner gravy than you would usually get at KFC, but it kind of has a bit more of a curry flavour. So a sort of chicken curry gravy, and it goes well with the fried chip. Let's move on to the chicken tenders. They're a good size and the outside looks really crispy. These were an extra that I added on to my meal and after the ones at Slim Chickens, I'm really looking forward to this. Let's try it out. Delicious. Now I didn't really know what all the fuss was about with chicken tenders as I saw them as just like KFC mini fillets, which I find are just okay. But let me tell you, they're so much better than KFC mini fillets and are 100% worth getting. They're really, really nice. Let's try it out with the Sriracha mayonnaise sauce. You do get a choice of different sauces, but I like the sound of this one, which is why I chose it. It looks creamy and I like the colour of it too. Let's eat it. Amazing. The sauce is delicious, it's creamy, it's sweet, there's only a slight hint of spice which is peppery. You need to get this sauce if you come here. In fact, I just have to try it out with one of the chips. Really really nice. Let's move on to the chicken. It's a good sized piece and they do do chicken here which is great. It looks to have the same crispy outer coating as the chicken tender. Let's go in for a bite. Delicious. The outside is lovely and crispy and you get a good crunch as you bite into it. It's got an almost nutty flavour to it. The chicken on the inside is soft and succulent, not dry at all. Really juicy and full of chicken flavour. It's a good piece of chicken. But I think dipping it in the gravy is really going to take it up to the next level. I've got a good coating of it on the outside. Let's eat it. Amazing. And why not try it out in that incredible sriracha mayonnaise too. Now I think this might top the previous bite. Let's go for it. It does indeed. Let's move on to the chicken sandwich next. There's a great big piece of chicken on the inside and I saw on the menu that it's a peppery breading they use on the chicken so it should have some of that flavour in there. Let's eat it. Really nice. The toasted brioche on the top and bottom add a sweetness. The lettuce in there adds a fresh crunch. The chicken again is nice and crispy and you can taste the peppery breading too. And the mayo in there adds a creaminess and moisture that combines it all together. The chicken in the middle is succulent and juicy. There's no dry chicken in sight here. Let's dip it in the gravy and see how it tastes with that on. I'm guessing it's gonna make it even better. And it does. I just have to try it out also with the sriracha mayonnaise. This sauce is on par with the Slim Chickens one. Both really, really good. Delicious. And for the ultimate burger bite, I'm gonna add some chips in there and then pour the gravy all over the top, which is gonna add a great chicken gravy flavor. Incredible. Also included in this meal is a peach and mango pie dessert. It's just like a McDonald's apple pie. It has the same type of crispy outside, but the difference is the filling here is peach and mango. Let's go in for a bite of this. Delicious again. The outside is sweet and crispy with that same comforting feeling you get when eating a McDonald's pie. The filling has a bit of a tartness along with the peach and mango flavour. It's a great pie. This was some delicious food. I think the difference here is that they do combo meals where you get a selection of different items. Unlike at Slim Chickens where it's just standard meals. 
you can try out more foods here for a similar price. There is one thing they didn't do here though, and that's chicken wings. What a great meal that was. The chicken tenders with the sriracha mayonnaise, they were delicious. So the total cost of that meal was £16.98. So which was the better chicken? Comment down below which one you preferred. For me, the winner is Jollibee. I just preferred that meal a little bit more. Even though the items were a little bit different, the items that were the same like the chicken tenders and the chicken sandwich, I liked them a little bit more at Jollibee. So they take it for me. Okay, if you like this video, click on the thumbs up icon below and click on subscribe to come along for the next food journey and I'll see you in the next one.